Um, so uh, the 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 jazz the jazz formation in New Orleans was about uh, certainly whites, uh, blacks, Creoles, and um, and slaves mixing all the all the music together. They're they're put together in in the, in the city of New Orleans, and um, you know classical, um, uh, pure improvisation, um, you know marching band, African rhythms. All these things are coming together, and they're coming together because white musicians are uh, collaborating with Creole musicians who are collaborating with black musicians, and they're all playing together. If there's an issue where they can't play at a a club because some person is black or white. Sometimes those musicians are just passing as white or passing as black to play, and so they they're all playing together and they're 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 rising above all the stupid racism that that's happening in New Orleans, and they're they're creating this this art form, you know, which is really one of our great great uh, art forms and a contribution mm -hmm. to to the world. Um, and so um, my book, like I say, makes a connection between. The, the social clubs and the venues that were used, the families who were uh, intermarried, uh, taught each other uh, how to play different instruments, had musical education, valued musical education, and gave musical education. And then, um, you know, were involved in all facets of the music, from not only securing venues, but also publishing, writing, uh, and teaching. So um, out of that, you know, comes the jazz that we know in the uh, uh, 20s and 30s when these jazz musicians started to move out into Chicago, St. Louis, New York, and uh, you know we have Louis Armstrong, uh, Armand Piron playing at the Cotton Club, and wow. that's, that's, that's where everybody starts to pick it up. And of course we have Jimmy Durante, who's coming out of New Orleans, who's played with all these guys, uh, the Baquette brothers, and uh, he's, he, he's, seen, he's seen all the Louis Armstrongs, and so he's influenced by that. And like I say, he, uh, you know, I remember his uh, his variety show, him singing, but I don't ever remember him playing the piano on the variety show. Mm. And he was a fantastic <laughs> pianist. So um, people loved the the way he sang. Um, and you know, uh, uh, you know, we get that from Louis Armstrong. I mean, Louis Armstrong is by far the greatest clarinet player, uh, the greatest trumpet player that's ever lived. There never is going to be any, anybody like him. Every time I I hear him, I stop and yeah. listen. But people love the way he sang, and. You know, that's, he didn't have the best voice, but the way that he did things yeah. was mm -hmm. what made mm -hmm. people go crazy for him.